Hi everyone, let's talk. I know everyone um uh, been seeing a lot of uh things going on in Chicago about what's going on with the violence and everything, but we do have great things uh far as uh tourist attractions and things to do in Chicago. Here are the 16 top rated tourist attractions and things to do in Chicago. But first I would like to give an overview. Chicago, the Windy City, the Windy City as it often called, lies along the shores of Lake Michigan. Known for its vibrant art scene, numerous cultural attractions, excellent shopping and interesting architecture. This city attracts visitors from the U.S. and around the globe. Chicago um, enjoys a worldwide reputation as a focal point of the 20th century architecture and art, with architects such as Louis Sullivan and Frank Lloyd Wright, and artists like Picasso, Miro, De, De Buffett, and uh, Chagall, leaving their mark. The city also has much to offer in the sporting sphere, too, with the Chicago Bears and American football, the Chicago White Sox and Cubs and baseball, and the Chicago Bulls and basketball, as you all know. Last but not least are the beautiful beaches that stretch along the waterfront, attracting throngs of sun seekers in the uh, summer. Deciding when to visit Chicago may depend on your interests, particularly if you are coming for sports or cultural events, but spring until fall is the best time for weather. For a complete look at places to visit, see our list of top attractions and things to do in Chicago. But remember, we're under the pandemic time. Some businesses may be temporarily closed due to the recent global health and safety issues. Thank you. Number one. The Art Institute. The Art Institute of Chicago is a world-class museum with hundreds of thousands of artworks. The diverse collection spans thousands of years and includes pieces from a variety of media including paintings, prints, photography, sculpture, decorative arts, textiles, architectural drawings, and more. The Institute is known for its collection of Impressionist and Post-Impressionist paintings including George Surratt's 1884, A Sunday Afternoon on La Grande Jate, Renoir's 1879, Acrobats at the Cirque, Fernando, and numerous paintings by Claude Monet. Claude Monet. The main building, designed by Shepley, Roten, and Coolidge in Boots Arts style, was built for the 1883 World's Columbian Exposition. Several other buildings have been added on over the years and today the complex measures 400,000 square feet. Address is 111 South Michigan Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, and I will put all the links to the official sites for each and every one. Thank you. Number two, Millennium Park. Millennium Park is part of the larger Grant Park located in downtown Chicago bordered by Michigan Avenue to the west, Columbus Drive to the east, Randolph Street to the north, and Monroe Street to the south. Its centerpiece is a 110-ton sculpture named Cloud Gate, which has a polished mirror-like stainless steel surface that was inspired by the liquid mercury. It reflects the surroundings, including the buildings, the sky, and the tourists who walk through its central arc. Another top attraction in the Millennium Park is Crown Fountain, a fascinating modern interpretation of the ancient gargoyle that gives the appearance of water flowing from the mouths of projected images of Chicago citizens. Other popular things to do here, including seeing a performance at the J. Pritzker Pavilion, an outdoor concert venue, and visiting the Lurie Garden, which is open to the public at no cost year-round. Located to many of the major attractions as well as great shopping, this area of the city is a convenient place to base yourself for accommodations, suggestions, see a list of recommended hotels in the area. The address is 201 East Randolph Street, Chicago, Illinois. As I stated before in the first uh, 
thing that I talked about, um, place that I talked about, uh, I will put the official site link within my video. Thank you. Number three, Navy Pier. The Navy Pier originally opened in 1916 as an amusement area and shipping facility, but is now one of Chicago's most popular tourist attractions. Today, the Navy Pier is made up of 50 acres of gardens, attractions, shops, restaurants, concerts, venues, and parks. There is a 150 feet Ferris wheel and a historic carousel in Navy Pier Park. Visitors can also watch a film 3D Max uh, theater, watch actors perform the classics at the Chicago Shakespeare Theater, or visit Crystal Gardens, a one-acre, 66-story indoor botanical garden, also located here in Chicago's Children's Museum. The pier hosts year-round festivities, including the Chicago Festival in August. Cruise ships leave from here on various sightseeing excursions. The address is located 600 East Grand Avenue, Chicago, Illinois. They also have parking for all the visitors as well. The parking uh, lot is adjacent uh, right there. Uh, when you first come in, uh, you'll be able to park. Thank you. Number four, Museum Science and Industry. At the north end of Jackson Park is the Museum of Science and Industry. Founded in 1933 and arguably the most impressive museum in Chicago. It is devoted to the application of natural laws and technolo technology and industrial in development. The museum is thought to be the first in the U.S. to incorporate the ideal of hands-on exhibits. Visitors are encouraged to interact with hundreds of exhibits. The MSI features permanent and changing exhibits, as well as an Omnimax Theater. The address is 5700 South Lakeshore Drive, Chicago, Illinois. I will put the link of this in my video. Thank you. Hello everyone. Number five, Willis Tower and the Sky Deck. <coughs> Until 1966 when the Patronas towers were built in Kuala Lumpur. The 110-story Sears Tower, now Willis Tower, was the world's tallest office block. While there are now several taller buildings, the view from here is incredible. On a clear day, you can see 40 to 50 miles over four states and gain a bird's eye view of Chicago's impressive architecture. The Willis Tower took three years to build and was opened to the public in 1974. The building is 1,453 feet tall with an observation area called the Sky Deck. On the 103rd floor, 1,350 feet above the ground, a glass box with a glass floor. Known as the ledge, just out from the Sky Deck where visitors can stand and look directly down at the city below. If this is your visit to Chicago, the Sky Deck is a must-do. Buy your Chicago Sky Deck tickets in advance to experience the ledge, explore the exhibits, and watch a short video on the history of the building. The address is located 233 South Wacker Drive, Chicago, Illinois. Thank you. Number six, the water show at the Buckingham Fountain. Built in 1927 as a donation from the family, the Clarence Buckingham Memorial Fountain is one of the largest in the world. Designed in a periodic iconic art deco style, the central fountain is surrounded by four seahorses that represents Lake Michigan for border states. From 8 a.m. to 11 p.m., the fountain bursts to life hourly, shooting 15,000 gallons of water through nearly 200 nozzles each minute to create an impressive display. After dusk, the water show is accompanied by lights, a must-see if you are in the neighborhood in the evening. The fountain is the central focal point of Grant Park. Chicago's expansive public space that contains many attractions and smaller parks like Millennium Park. Compar comparable to Central Park, one of the top attractions in New York City. 
one of the park's main tourist sites and museum campus, home to the Field Museum of Natural History, the Art Institute of Chicago, the Adler Planetarium, and the Shedd Aquarium. Grand Park is also home to several gardens and recreational facilities and hosts events including music and food festivals. Thank you. Number seven, the 360 Chicago. Located in John Hancock Center office building, 360 Chicago is an observation deck on the 94th floor of the John Hancock building. Easy to recognize by its dark metallic looking exterior and cross brace steel design, which runs up the outside of the building. The large glass wall observation deck has views that look out over Chicago's skyline and beyond. More adventurous tourists will love the deck newest feature, the tilt which give visitors a unique view from more than 1,000 feet above the magnific magnificent mile as they are tipped outward at an angle to look straight down from the glass enclosure. Wow, what a, what, a, what a sight. The rest of the building contains a variety of shops, offices, and apartments, as well as multimedia exhibit located on the first floor that includes information about the city of Chicago and the construction of the John Hancock Building. The address is located 875 North Michigan Avenue, Chicago, Illinois. I will put this link within the video. Thank you. Number 8, the Field Museum of Natural History. Originally called the Columbia Museum of Chicago, the Field Museum of Natural History was founded in 1893 to showcase the biological and anthropological collections gathered for the World Columbian Exposition. The name changed in 1905 to honor Marshall Field, the department store owner, art patron, and major benefactor of the museum. The permanent collection features approximately 20 million artifacts and specimens covering a variety of disciplines, including geology, botany, zoology, and anthropology. Of special note are the permanent displays on ancient Egypt and the cultures of North, Central, and South America, and Sioux, the world's largest, most complete Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton. Special rotating exhibits take place on a regular basis throughout the year. The address is 1400 South Lakeshore Drive, Chicago, Illinois. The link will be in the video. Thank you. This is the site I know a lot of you guys was waiting to see. Number 9, Michigan Avenue and the Magnificent Mall. Michigan Avenue is probably one of the most attractive boulevards in America. The city's famous Magnificent Mall is a section of Michigan Avenue north of Chicago River with numerous galleries, boutiques, and luxury shops. Some of the attractions along here include the John Hancock Building, or shall I say center, the Wrigley Building, and the Tribune Tower. Michigan Avenue splits between north and south designations at Madison Street. This district is also known for its theaters, which host touring plays, musicals, and comedy acts. I will put the link in the video. Thank you. Number 10, Wrigley Fields, which is where the Chicago Cubs play. Wrigley Field, home to the Chicago Cubs, was built in 1914 and is the second oldest major league baseball park in the U.S., second only to the Fenway Park in Boston. The park has seen some legendary moments in baseball history, including the 1917 no-hitter pitching duel between the Cubs, Jim Vaughn and the Reds, Fred Tony, and Babe Ruth's call shot. During the game, three of the 1932 World Series. Ballpark tours are conducted in season when you can visit the press box and field as well as the dugouts if there is no game that day. I will put the official site within the video. Thank you. Number 11, Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park is a six mile stretch of green space along the edge of the Lake Michigan and Chicago's biggest park. 
This popular park is home to the lovely Lincoln Park Conservatory and the Lincoln Park Zoo, one of the oldest zoos in the country. Also located here are the Peggy Note Bart Nature Museum and the Chicago History Museum. For those who simply want to enjoy the outdoor space, there are playing fields, bike trails, jogging paths, and beaches. Visitors can see a number of significant statues and pieces of public art within the park grounds, including Augustus St. Gardens Standing Statue of Lincoln, 1887. Thank you. Number 12, the Shed Aquarium. If Lake Michigan has you wondering what sort of aquatic life exists just offshore from downtown Chicago, swing by the Shed Aquarium. Inside are exhibits that cover aquatic regions of the world from the Arctic to the Caribbean. If you are visiting with young children, one of the most must-dos is the polar bear play zone. Here the children can slip into their favorite animal costume, take, take a make-believe trip in a submarine, and touch sea stars. Another popular place for children of all ages is the Stingray Touch Tank. The massive tank is full of colors, uh, full of curious stingrays who love to be petted and touched. Thank you so much. Number 13, Lincoln Park Zoo. Another fun thing for families to do in Chicago is a trip to the Lincoln Park Zoo. The zoo is home to over 200 species from around the world. 16 different exhibits showcase the wonderful animals that we share this world with. Some of the most entertaining animals include penguins, otters, and seals. For a truly fascinating experience, stop by the Regenstein Center for African Apes. The zoo is not just about animals. In fact, it's one of the best places in Chicago to see amazing floral displays. Each year, the gardening, gardening crew tends to over 2,000 individual plants across 1,200 species. Thank you. Number 14, the Chicago River Walk and Lakefront Trail. The Chicago River runs through the heart of the city, parallel to Lakeshore, and is known for its large number of movable bridges in just two miles. There are 18 bridges, each with the ability to allow large boats to pass. The McCormick Bridge House and Chicago River Museum treats tourists to an up-close look at the mechanisms of one of the most city's most famous bridges, where you can actually watch the gears work as it moves. The Riverwalk is home to many dining options and hosts special events throughout the year. And you can also find several river tours and cruises that depart from the river walk. The fully paved Lakefront Trail offers beautiful views of the city skyline and Lake Michigan stretching, stretching 18 miles from the 71st Street on the south side to Oddmore Street on the north side. It is open to pedestrians and people-powered wheels and is lined by parks, gardens, and recreation areas as well as beaches. Many of the city's top attractions are located along the trail, including Navy Pier, Lincoln Park, and Soldier Field. Official site, I will put it in the video. Thank you. Number 50, the Oriental Institute Museum. The Oriental Institute Museum, located on the University of Chicago campus, is dedicated to the archaeology and the art of the Near East including antiquities from excavations in Egypt, Sudan, Nubia, Iraq, Turkey, Israel, and the ancient site of Megiddo. Among the permanent exhibits are the Mesopotamian Gallery, which features objects from between 100,000 BC and the 7th century AD, and two Egyptian galleries, which include artifacts that range from everyday objects to Mummification's relics. The address is located 1155 East 58th Street, Chicago, Illinois. I will put the official site in the video. Thank you. Last, number 16, the Rookery Building. 
The Rookery Building was designed by architects Daniel Burnham and John Root in 1888, but the interior lobby and patio were remodeled by Frank Lloyd Wright in 1907. This 12-story building has a Roman revival and Queen Annie-style facade, but it is the central light court and the ornamental ironwork of the elegant staircase that are the true gem of the building. The rookery named for the large numbers of pigeons that frequented the building is listed on the Register of National Historic Places. The Frank Lloyd Wright Trust conducts tours of the building as well as other sites like the Roby House in Hyde Park and the Batch House. The address is located 209 South LaSalle Street, Chicago, Illinois. The official site I will put in the video. Thank you for listening to my video. You can like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much. Bye.